Yeah. Are you ready? Go. All right. Break. Good, good, very good. You, you kept it out of the lockup. Um, that this is a, a very important skill to learn, especially for a non-ABS car. I want you to keep it absolutely pinned until I say stop. Got it. And uh, whenever you're ready, go. Four. On the four. Stop. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Don't go through there because it's a big dip. I'm going to go back through the gravel. Um, that's all right. Um, you found where the limits were. Um, I probably pushed it a little bit too late, to be completely honest with you. Um, but you found it, and that was that was my point. Okay, this time let's go a little bit faster and and really get the car into max ABS. So I want you to floor it. All right. Floor. I want you to keep it pinned down until I say stop. And when I say stop. Hammer the brake pedal, push it through the floor, and right. hold it down. Don't let up. Go. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Stop. That's good. That's that's excellent. That's exactly what you want to do. Um, now, hopefully, you're uh, you see now how much braking capability the car has. Yeah. Was that a surprise the first time you did that? The first time you got him to make that noise and yeah. feel it jiggle around? Yeah, first I didn't know what it was, but since I know what it was. That's that's the ABS. I don't know. You, you're gonna trust me? Yeah. If we end up in the grass, is that okay? Yeah, I guess. All right, floor it and keep it pinned. Keep it pinned. We're gonna go past the cones. Keep it pinned. Keep it pinned. Keep it pinned. Break. Well, that's all right. There's nobody over here, so I'm going to go reset the counter. So when you're ready, go. All right, ease up just a little. All right. That's okay. Turn more the first time. Yeah. Yeah. You don't normally drive like this on the road, but this is a this is an emergency avoidance technique. We want you to. This is a a pile of wood falls off the truck in front of you. Yeah. You want to be able to get around it. Okay. Go. He's off. Turn. Turn. Very good. Yeah. That's it. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Nice. It's exactly what I'm talking about. Um, in, in the real world, when you've got an obstacle in front of you, you've got two choices. You've got to stop. you got to come to a complete stop. Mm -hmm. Or you've got to avoid it. you got to drive around it. And that's what these first two exercises. We're going to uh, try maybe a little bit faster this time. All right. Uh, I, I tell you what, I'll I'll tell you when to, to lift. So just keep it pegged until I tell you to lift. All right. So go. Lift. Yes, yes, you got it. I didn't think you were gonna make it. I thought you were gonna plow that cone, but you you really cranked some steering into it. And you can tell the car is working because you heard the tire squeal. Yeah. Like it it didn't yeah. like it, but it did it. It, you you ask it to do something and it did it. Um, so so many accidents are caused by people not using the car to their full extent. I hadn't thought of that. Yeah. 
Okay, moderate speed. Um, I'll, I'll tell you when to turn. Uh, so go, pick, pick whichever side you want to start with. I don't care. All right, accelerate, turn, 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 turn. Okay. Oh, that was close. That was close. All right, whenever you're ready, let's see what you got. Yes, yes, yes. Turn it hard, hard. Bam. That's it. That is it. I, I think you've gotten all you're going to get out of that one. All right. Got ready. Faster. Quicker. Quicker. That's all right. Oh, yes. That was nice. That was absolutely nice. You didn't... I didn't say anything about correcting a spin, but you felt the car start to step out to the right and you counter steered into it. That's absolutely perfect. Wow, where is he going? He's making it way harder on himself. Not bad. Well, all right. Steady, steady state. Accelerate gradually through the whole thing. All right. So when you're ready, hit it. I didn't think you're going to try to make that last one, but you did. Nice, nice. All right, it's clear. So um, hammer it until I say break. Look through it. Look to the right. Look to the right. Look to the right. Break. I anticipated a little bit. That, that was actually... Go ahead and clear the, the, to the next segment. That was actually probably pretty good because if you had waited until I said break, mm -hmm. you'd have been hitting cones. So I, I kind of screwed up my judgment on that one. I didn't think you were going to accelerate quite that hard. But that's that's good. That's showing that you're you're anticipating it. You're, you're getting a feel for what the car can do and you know when you need to stop. So... I'm gonna let you take this one. Hammer it, just floor it, and when you think you need to break to get the turn done, do it. All right. I hesitated there for a second. Yep, you, you started to turn before you started breaking. Yeah. Um, on, on that one, we probably wanna break aggressively and then make our turn. The more speed you get scrubbed off, the easier it is gonna make that Deceit, you know that that deviously sharp turn there. All right, I'm gonna leave this one up to you. I think I think based on that last time, you've got a pretty good judge of uh, when you need to brake. So um, floor it until you feel like you need to stop. Brake then turn. Perfect, perfect. You're using every bit of the car. You've got the ABS kicking. You felt it. I yeah. heard it. I'll uh, go ahead and clear the car, course for the next one. And same thing here. Just keep in mind it's a little tighter than the other one. And get your braking done first and then try to turn. Don't get off the brake, of course. Yeah. Keep keep the brake on. But get, get the majority of your braking done in a straight line and then start to turn the car. And you may want to ease off the brake pedal just a little bit to make the turn. As fast as you want to go. That was good. That was good. You can tell that one's tighter than the other one. Yeah, I felt the drift on it. Yeah, what you felt there was understeer. Uh -huh. You felt the front end slide. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna work on that in the in the afternoon when we start to, to do the skid pad. Mm -hmm. You're really gonna get an idea of what understeer and oversteer is. Side lane. So I want you to get off of the gas mm -hmm. and don't touch the brake. I want you All to right. be no pedals. Through the whole steering event so it, there's going to be a big move to the left and a big move to the right to straighten it and then when you straighten the wheel then you get on the brakes so this right. whole thing is done with no brakes so right. go ease up a little all right turn killed that one yeah uh, turn more yep 
Turn a lot. You're gonna have to get, yeah, you're gonna have to turn a lot more. Hard. Yes. 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 Alright, whenever you're ready. I think Shane's found the trick. I won't do that again, I promise. Just kidding. Ha, ha, ha. 